Yo, what's going on guys? Nizion here bringing you another video. Now, in today's video, I'll be talking about five different items that you should be owning in GTA 5 Online. But before I get started with today's video, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to keep updated with all the quality gaming content under 10 minutes. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's GTA Online video. So starting right off with the first item in today's top five list, we have the Carbon Rifle Mark II. The Carbon Rifle Mark II is unlocked after rank 42 and you also need a weapon workshop to go ahead and upgrade your basic Carbon Rifle to the Mark II variant. I recommend purchasing the weapon workshop in your tier bite. Just upgrade that as if you own a Oppressor Mark II anyways, it just makes sense to own one there also. But essentially, once you guys have a Carbon Rifle, you go ahead and go inside your weapon workshop, upgrade it with $107,000 to the carbon rifle mark II variant now even till this day after a lot of different guns being launched in the game this gun is a very good gun you don't really need any upgrades from the bunker to go ahead and get a specific variant of this gun even extended rounds or tracer rounds helps out a lot to make this gun just a little bit more better and a little bit more overpowered in the game very good in close range combat and that kind of edged a little bit more from the carbon or combat mg sorry because it's just a little bit faster reload and a more agile weapon compared to the combat mg and it does very similar damage to it but now moving on to the second item on the list we have ourselves the grenade launcher now the grenade launcher is a very overlooked weapon in the game due to a lot of different explosive weapons such as the homing launcher the rpg the compact grenade launcher and etc but after rank 60 you go ahead and get yourself the grenade launcher now the grenade launcher is a very decent weapon in the game it's not expensive either it's a very well and reasonably priced weapon you get it from the ammunition and not from your weapon workshop i believe you can purchase it from any ammunition from the wall after you reach rank 60 it's a very helpful weapon you get a lot of grenades that you can go in and blow up vehicles with and it comes in handy if you're trying to just blow up things very quickly it shoots grenades out very fast and very easily so i do recommend to go ahead and purchasing this for your second weapon or the second item also on the list okay now moving on to the next item on the list we have ourselves the kasatka now hear me out the brand new house has been released and I have a video linked on the top of the screen right now on how you guys can do the KO Preco heist finale with two players and get all of your money back. So if you spent $2 million or $2.2 million on the Kasatka without any upgrades, you can then go ahead and get your money back by doing this heist. It's a very easy way and it doesn't take a lot of time at all. And at the end of it, you get yourself essentially your money back and you paid for your Kasatka by doing it one whole time. And I do recommend doing this as the payout and takeout is very good. And you get some decent money by doing it. If you do the Kasatka or the Kao Preco heist two times, you should be able to make profit on the Kasatka and by doing this heist. So it's a very good investment in my personal opinion. I do recommend purchasing the Kasatka. Now moving on into the third or fourth item, sorry, on today's list is a vehicle warehouse. Now, if you guys don't own a CEO office and you don't have a, a executive bundle of GT Online, the starter pack, the enterprise starter pack, I do recommend purchasing it. But if you don't have that, either way, you can get yourself a CEO office for around a million dollars. And after you go into your CEO office onto your desktop computer in it, then you can go into the database and purchase a vehicle warehouse. Now, the cheapest one being also in La Mesa, a very similar location to the last property, the arcade that we talked about, and it costs 1.5 million dollars a la mesa vehicle warehouse but it's the cheapest one in the game and it makes you a lot of money over time so it's definitely a good investment especially if you play this game say for example you get around 15 to 20 uh, high-end vehicles you can go ahead and sell those and get some decent money back from it and it should eventually pay off your vehicle warehouse that you spent up for a cost of 1.5 million that should easily get paid off after sourcing a lot of vehicles and selling them later on so it's a decent way to make money in gta 5 online but now moving on to the final item in today's list we have ourselves the Casino Penthouse. Now hear me out, currently it is on sale for around $975,000 off the Casino website itself. You can also go inside the Diamond Casino and purchase it from the front desk, but it is a very decent property to own. Now the reason why I say this is if you're the first time owner 
of a penthouse and you complete all of the Agatha Baker contact missions, you get yourself $50,000 each mission and at the end of it you get a grand total of $150,000 bonus and on top of that you also get yourselves a free Anus Paragon R armored vehicle for its value is around 900,000 from Legendary Motorsport and you get that for absolutely free. It comes with decent machine gun and some rocket protection also for the vehicle itself. A very fast vehicle also and it's a very good looking one in my personal opinion. You can also take advantage of the high limit tables in the casino itself so you can get more money and more payout by betting in the casino and that just makes you some more income on the side. So if you want to learn how to do these Agatha Baker missions and etc I'll leave my video linked on the iCard showing you a tutorial on how you can do that but that's essentially my top 5 list of the 5 items that you should own in GTA 5 online. Maybe most of you guys will be watching this video down the line and this will be more relevant to the people that are new to the game. But that's essentially it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please be sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I'll try my best to answering every single question down there. It's been your boy Nizian, and I'll be catching you all in my next video. Goodbye.